In this video we're going to be making a picture like the one you can see on your screen right now where we've got a girl wearing some sunglasses and we're going to put a reflection of a nice sunset in those sunglasses. It's quite an easy one so let's head over to Photoshop and get started. We're going to need two pictures open to begin with today. We've got a picture of this nice sunset and we've also got a picture of the girl with the sunglasses on. You can see those sunglasses don't have any reflection in them at the moment. Okay, first thing we need to do is head over to our layers panel, right click your mouse on that background layer, and we're going to duplicate that layer. You can give it any name you want, I'm just going to click OK and leave it as background copy. The next thing you need to do is head over to your selection tools here. I'm just going to use the quick selection tool today. I'm going to click and drag around that first lens until that first lens is nicely selected. Once it's selected with the marching ants, I'm going to hold shift again and I'm going to do the other lens and just click and drag until it's selected. Once you've got both lenses selected, I want you to go down to the bottom of your layers panel and select that option that's a square with a circle inside it. It's called create a layer mask. And what that does, you can see here we've now got a layer mask in there. The next step is to head on over to the sunset picture. And what I want you to do is press the select menu at the top and select all. Or press Control A. That's just going to select our picture. Using the arrow here, the move tool, I want you to copy that. So just go to edit, copy. Go back to your sunglasses picture here. And we're going to go edit paste. And that paste in our sunset. You can move it around. I'm going to move it up above the eyes here. Okay, so that's in position now, and we're going to get that picture into her sunglasses now. And we do that by heading over to layer 1 here, which is our sunset layer. We right click on it, and we create a clipping mask. Okay, that's now got our sunglasses um, filled with that reflection. You can still move it around and get a good selection there in her lenses. Okay, once we've got that looking good, I'm going to click back on layer 1, and I'm going to change the blend mode to make it look even more arty. Now you can go through all these different blend modes here. I'm just going to use my arrow keys to go through them and get different effects. The one I like though is hard light. I think it brings out the color really well and shows a little bit of uh, the face of this girl that's in behind the glasses. If you would like to show that face a little bit more, you can drop the opacity a little bit. I'm just going to drop it down to about 85, 90%. I think that's looking alright. I feel it's a little bit dark though, those sunglasses. So what we might do is just brighten the whole picture up a bit. So I'm going to go across here to this adjustments panel and I'm going to throw in a brightness and contrast adjustment. So I'm going to click on that little sun. Just turn my brightness up a little bit. It's going to brighten the whole picture but I don't think that looks too bad. If you want you can bump the contrast up a little bit too just to bring out the blacks a bit more. You can minimize that menu. That's looking pretty good. Okay, I think I'm finished there. So now that I'm done, I'll just go to the file menu, save for web, and make sure I've got JPEG selected. My quality can be high or very high. And make sure you save that up. Simple.